evening, everyone, and welcome to St. Mary's High School, where tonight in Western Buckeye League action, the St. Mary's Rough Riders host the Wapakoneta Redskins. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Scott Mag and our entire WSN crew. Scott, we take a look at both teams here. Wapakoneta comes in at 5-4, and 0-1 oh in the WBL. The significant part about that team, Scott, they'll play 8, 9, 10 players. They've got a lot of guys that average a point or more. Right, they do, but they like to do it. Uh, they want to slow it down and they want to control. They have a ball control offense and defense. So with that being said, they got to play so hard on defense, they have to be able to play eight or nine guys, and, and that's what been, has been working for them so far this year. And St. Mary's, the Rough Riders come in at 5-2, and 1-0 oh in the WBL, and their calling card is size. Scott, they'll go 6'7", 6'7", 6'3", across the front line. Boy, you better be ready to rebound when you take the Riders. Yeah, you're right, and that's the way it's been story for about the last five or six years with the Riders. Uh, they got a guy down and playing in Columbus that was right. pretty tall, too, but down here. So that's kind of what they've been doing, but again, they also do it the same way, right? They're going to go high-low. They're going to try to beat you in. If you sag in, they got one guy that can shoot the ball outside, and um, but they want to take a good shot. They're not going to hurry. This game is kind of like going back to the 80s where you're going to defend and you're going to work the ball around for a good shot. It's not going to be up and down, and it's not going to be shoot the first one that's open. Absolutely. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups. Our starting line for Wapakoneta, the visitors, they'll start number one, Caden Page, a 6'2 sophomore guard at 5.3 a game. Number three, Zach Niekamp is a 6'2 senior guard at 9.6 a game. Number five, Nate Metzger is a 6'1 senior forward at 6.9 a game. Number 20, Cash Shadle is a 6'2 senior at 9.2 a game. And number 23, Ryan Sadler is a 6'4 senior at 5.4 a game. Again, Wapakoneta comes in at 5-4, 0-1 on the WBL. Offensively, they average 43.2 a game, and defensively, they give up 41.9 a game. They're coming off a two-game losing streak, losing to Bowling Green and Marion Local. For the St. Mary's Rough Riders, they'll come in at 5-2, and 1-0 and in the WBL. Offensively, they average 69 points a game, and defensively, they give up 45 points a game. They're coached by Dan Hegemeyer, and they'll start number one, Noah Payne, a junior guard at 6'3". Number 13, Alex Honey is a junior forward at 6'1". Number 22, Jace Turner, a senior center at 6'7". inches. Number 23, Brennan Steger is a junior guard at 6'2". And number 24, Evan Engsman, is a 6'7 senior forward. You know, you got some contrasting styles here, Scott. And uh, again, you, you made the comment, uh, Wapakoneta is going to slow the game down. They average 43 a game. St. Mary's likes to get up and run when they can, and they'll average almost 70 a game. Right, and, and part of that is if they don't have it early, they will work it around and go high-low and try to dish it out and, and, and get that open three-point shot. Um, but they don't really look to push it. Like, it, it, you know, you, you said fast break team, but that's kind of misleading a little bit with them because they will fast break, yes, if it's if it's a two on one, three on one, four on two, but if it's a two on two, they're gonna wait, they're gonna pull it back out and wanna go inside. And, and I, think, I think a part of that too is why they're having so good is because they're so patient offensively as well as what they run that they get good scoring sure. opportunities. And I don't know if you can hear, but the PA system oh, works man. really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like I'm screaming. <laughs> Tonight's presenting sponsor is Road State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open, so we thank Road State College for being our presenting sponsor for tonight. So we are just about underway here from St. Mary's High School. Danny Holbrook, Scott Mag, and WBL action. The Wapakoneta Redskins are coached by Trey Elker. And as I said earlier, they're coming off two losses, Bowling Green and Marion Local in their last two games. Also, St. Mary's coming off a loss to a really good Finley team. Yes, absolutely. And Finley, Finley's really good. Uh, they, they can do it in so many ways. They got guys that can shoot it. They can get up and down, and they're very, very athletic, which I can see where this gave this team a very uh, a tough problem. Scott. How tough is it? You've coached a lot of basketball, and we've talked about this before. Coming off a of Christmas break, you always worry about that dreaded game back after Christmas break. Now, they've had a couple there between, but this is a big rivalry. These schools yeah. are, you know, 12 miles apart. Right. It, it is. It's, it's, it, it's not really the Christmas break. I like the Christmas break, one, because you can practice and you can put some stuff in and you can actually do some things. 
The problem is these kids have to get readjusted to coming back to school, yeah. you know, and, get, and messes up their sleep schedules and, and what they were doing. And, you know, they could devote a lot of time on that Christmas break to basketball. And, you know, you can break down some stuff with film. And it was sure. kind of nice. It kind of felt like a college coach there for a week where you could, <laughs> yeah. where you could do some stuff and the kids could watch. And you could say, hey, go back and look at this tape and watch from minute three to minute eight, and you can see what's going on. But, yeah, it's the school part. It's getting back in. You got the blahs because, one, you don't want to be back at school, and, two, you're like, <laughs> okay, we have to be here anyways. The weather's so, usually bad. Right, yeah. yeah. So that that's the part, I think, is the routine, right? The change in the routine sure. usually throws these young kids off. So we are officially underway as St. Mary's controls the tip. This is number 23 for the Rough Riders. This is Brennan Steger. He's guarded out top by Zach Meekamp. They'll swing it around to the top of the key, off to the right side, down to the corner for the Rough Riders, try to push it inside to those big post players. Ball gets stripped away and it's taken over by Wapakoneto. Yeah, and, and no, Wapak really wanted to dig to the hole there. And there you saw Zach Meekamp try to go up the left side for the layup. 7.33 on the clock. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's home style happens here. So the Rough Riders being patient here on offense as they try to push it down to the block. This is number 22 for the Riders. Jace Turner as he turns the ball over again. Here come the Redskins down the left side. Shot goes up, and it's off the mark. And they're going to get a foul. And yeah, let's see who that foul is on. That was Caden Page with the drive. Could be on knee camp, I think. Nope. Ryan Sadler. Sadler, that's his first off. Thought, Scott, what's your thoughts on the new free throw rules? I ask all my partners about that, uh, and I get diverse answers every time. You know, for a team that likes to play up in you and get after you a little bit, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it actually. It is speeding up the game, but I'm telling you, because these coaches. Um, don't understand it. You know, two minutes to go, and you only have one foul. And you got to, you got to get, yeah, you got four, four, yeah. four more. Yeah. Where normally you had to maybe do one, and you can wait, but almost you got to start fouling with four minutes to go in the game now. Yeah, absolutely. There's another turnover. The outlet's out to number 13 for the Riders. This is Alex Honey. As he tries to get the ball down low. They'll go back to the block. They'll kick it back out. Being patient on offense. A lot of, a lot of the basketball moving around the floor a lot, Scott. Yeah. Some, uh, looks like some slippery hands out there to get this one underway. Well, it, it, the way uh, Walpock does it, they attack you defensively, right? If you're going to put that ball out in front of you, normally there's going to be a hand or a body coming at that ball, and they kind of the first two turnovers, they got in the post, and there was a guy coming at it, and that's kind of what you've seen so far. Our first quarter sponsor tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Matt's Heating and Cooling is your home in the energy Efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. So there's another three-point try on the way. And that's off pass. the mark. Rebound comes down to Wapakoneta. And there's another missed shot. So with six minutes to go on the clock, we're still knotted at zero as both teams having trouble finding the mark. St. Mary's pushes it down the block as Wapakoneta double teams down on the post every time that Jace Turner catches it. They've got two guys running right to him. There's Turner on the turnaround, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Caden Page, and he'll walk it down the floor. Yeah, and I, I think if you're Walpock, you're pretty happy with your defense so far. They, they gave up a, maybe a, a contested three, and, and mostly everything else has been a contested or a fall away, too, and they'll take that when, they get, when the center gets the ball inside that paint. This is Cash Shadow with the ball. He's guarded out top by Jace Turner, who we've talked about tonight. Good matchup there. Jace Turner comes in at 6'7", tallest man on the roster. That's tough to say. Last year, he was the tallest man on the roster <laughs> right. with Ohio State bound Austin Parks right. at 6'10". Right. And Wapak and then a three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Turner. Turner kicks it out. They'll go down the left side. Here come the Riders. They try to push it down low. So almost throw it away, and there's a near steal, and they're going to say that yeah, Wapakoneta went out of bounds. Yeah, yeah Page, Page was just a half step short there of getting that ball, but he read it right, just was just short. Entering the game now for the Rough Riders, Coben Owens, the senior guard at 6-1, enters the game, and Alex Honey will take a seat. They'll trigger the ball in, in front of the Wapakoneta bench. 
Brennan Steger will throw the ball in, going to Turner, and Turner gets pushed in the back, and they're yeah. going to get a foul on number 23 for the Skins. That's Ryan Sadler. That's his yeah. first. That's his second. second excuse believe, me, you're yeah. right. Yeah, excuse me, you are right, Scott. That is his second foul, yeah. and Ryan Sadler is going to take a seat. Entering the game now is Caleb Adams, the 6'4 freshman. Yeah. This kid has some skill. I mean, he when uh, when I seen him play back when we had the game against OG, and he played a lot of JV, and he was they they had nobody to stop him. That's another turnover. There's another turnover, brother Riders. Here come the skins down the floor. They try to push tempo up just a little bit. Three ball from the left side. It's on the way, and it's off the mark. Our three-point sponsor tonight is Frost Roofing, family-owned and operated for over 95 years. Join the Frost family. They're an equal opportunity for you. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout in the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School, where with 4.29 to go, still not at zero. I want to make a correction. I was referring to Alex Haney as Alex Honey, and I apologize for that. We've got the correct enunciation on that. But here come the Rough Riders as they'll bring the ball down. Try to push it into Jay's Turner. Skip pass across the floor. This is 23. Brennan Steger goes back to Turner. Go back to Steger, who makes a cut to the middle. Steger takes the shot. Rebound comes down to the skins. This is Nate Metzger as he outlets the ball to the right side. Zach Niekamp goes to the rim, takes it straight up, and there's going to be a foul on the shot. Yeah, good job. Uh, you've seen an opening and he attacked it. I mean, what better way to get your offense going if you see an opening and attack it and get to the rim and try to get, you know, an easy basket before both teams are settling back and they're basically playing man-to-man, -man, but they got three guys or maybe sometimes four guys in the paint just daring the other team to shoot from outside. Zach Niekamp misses the first free throw. Zach on the season as a 79% shooter as he misses the first one. Still not at a zero. And second one on the way, and it's good. So Wapakoneta comes off the snide there. They lead this one at one to nothing. Entering the game now for the Skins, number 11, Logan Healy in the game. 3.58 to go. Danny Holbrook, Scott Mag from St. Mary's High School in a key Western Buckeye League showdown here. We can use the old term, Scott, it's cold outside, but it's heating up in here. And yeah, something, <laughs> something, it's, it's something in here. <laughs> Here's Jace Turner. He takes the ball down low, nice and move. he knocks it in. Jace Turner, the 6'7 forward. He gives the Riders the 2-1 lead. And the difference on that move than he did the first three times is he made a quick move, and he, and he basically spun away from the double team before he was waiting and waiting and waiting, and the double team came. There's another turnover from the Skins. Ball goes back to St. Mary's. That was definitely a freshman mistake. Again, a couple years from now, he, he won't make that mistake. He'll get in that paint and jump, stop, and square up. You take a look at St. Mary's only losses this year. There's two of them, and they're to some seriously good teams. As I was said earlier, Finley, they lose to Finley 53-44. Finley 7-0, and they also lost to St. Francis de Sales, a 7-2 and team, a, a traditional power in the state of Ohio. Yep. So here come the Skins on another steal. They'll bring the ball down the middle of the floor. There's a nice cut to the middle. The nice. shot goes up by the freshman, Caleb Adams. The 6'4 freshman knocks it in, and he gives the Skins the 3-2 lead on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. And the difference on that one than the first one is he just reacted. He, the first one, he had to kind of think, well, okay, what am I going to do with this ball? He just caught it, took a dribble, jump stop, and jumped over somebody, used athleticism, and scored. There's Turner again as he gets the ball one-on-one -on -one down low. Nice left-handed nice Turner and a really nice move by Jace Turner. He's got four to lead all scores, and he makes it a Sanders lead. Yeah, four Excuse to, me, four to four three. To three. Yep. They moved the scoreboard on me there. Skins rotating the ball to the right side. There's a nice move to the middle. Ball goes on the floor. Good hustle. Everybody having trouble holding on to the ball tonight. This is Healy with the ball nice. at the foul line. He'll swing it around, back over to Adams. Adams swings it back to Caden Page. They'll go back to Healy. Healy drives to the middle, pulls it back out. Wapakoneta taking their time on the offensive set. Riders lead 4-3, 1.53 to go here in the first quarter. They'll swing it around, three ball from the left side, and it's good. Caleb Shadow knocks it in, and he makes it. A Wapakoneta lead with 1.39 to go. 
Yeah, that makes it 6 4. Great ball movement by them. You know, they gave up good shots for better shots. Three guys, different guys did. That's <laughs> <ball. laughs> St. Mary's Payne answers. Noah Payne knocks in another three ball. A frost roofing three point goal. Took us five minutes to get a score. Now we're scoring in bunches. <laughs> Here comes Wapakonet on the offensive set. Trying oh, to go nice down pass. low. Oh, Passing the ball really well. There's yeah. a shot that's blocked by Turner. Turner outlets the ball, gets it over to number five, Cobain Owens. Owens on the right side. He's guarded up top by Caden Page. They'll swing it around. This is Alex Hain. They'll swing it back to the left side. Back over to Payne. Payne swings it back to Hain. Looking inside, trying to get Turner on the block. Nice defensive play by Caden Pays as he knocks the ball out of bounds. With 46 seconds to go, Riders lead 7-6. A few extra subs in here for the Redskins. Richardson checks in for the first time, and knee cam back in. Ryan Richardson, the sophomore, fine football player for the Redskins. St. Mary's will inbounds it on the Wapakoneta bench side. Evan Angsman thought about firing that one up. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of pulled it back down. I think he might be getting a little frustrated. He hasn't, I mean, shadle has been on him like glue. He absolutely has. And he hasn't got any shots off. There's Angsman with a yeah. little fadeaway, and it was halfway down, and it comes back out. Rebound comes down to the skins. Here comes Zach Nekan, swings it across over to Cash Shadle. Shadle takes the three ball, and it hits nothing. Rebound comes down to the Riders with 17 seconds to go. This is Jace Turner up top. He'll swing it over. Double no pain back over to the left side. Dribble drive to the foul line. There's a right-handed runner that goes off the mark. And that was Cobain Owens who misses everything on that one. And the shot goes up as time expires. After one quarter of play from St. Mary's High School, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Wapakoneta Redskins 7-6. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School. Where after one quarter of play, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead 7-6. to six. Our second quarter sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. And our timeout sponsor tonight is Al's Woody's Diner in Wapakoneta. Wapak's best place for pizza, wings, subs, and burgers. Call 419-738-9111. Al's Woody's Diner. Scott, what's the difference in the first quarter? And the difference of the first quarter was that they finally someone made a shot. Basically, <laughs> that first four minutes was uh, some pretty much very physical defenses by both teams. And what happens to that is they dare you to make a shot. And um, what happens is you got to make shots. And then once St. Mary's made a shot, they got in Turner a couple times where he got one on one action and there wasn't three guys around him. So here come the skins down seven to six. This is Nate Metzger. He'll swing it over to Shadel. Shadel takes the three ball off the mark. Rebound comes down to Evan Engsman, the 6 7 forward. St. Mary's pushes the ball up. And there you saw Noah Payne thought about taking the three, takes it inside, and he knocks in the little two foot jumper to make it 9 6 on the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. It was a great little head and shoulders fake and got the Wapakoneta defender up all out of his seat and got water past him. Here comes Wapakoneta down 9 6. Nice cut. Nice cut to the knee basket. Camp, knee camp. That was impressive. <laughs> Zach knee camp with the bucket yep. as he cuts to the rim and, and that, makes it. And that's what they want, right? They, they, but they got to make an outside shot to get the St. Mary's three guys out of the paint. They want to open it up and set you up on if you're going to overplay, they're going to backdoor you. This is, that's how their MO, that's how they're built. But somebody's got to make an outside a jumper to get all those extra helpers out of the paint. There's a three ball on the way. And that goes off the mark. Noah Payne with a three ball from the left side. Rebound comes down to St. Mary's. This is Zach Niekamp with the ball. He'll swing it around over to Cash Shadle. Shadle goes back to Niekamp, and Niekamp didn't see the ball coming, throws it away, yeah. and it goes back to the Riders. I think Niekamp was thinking, okay, I'm going to like cut through or maybe set up a screen here. And Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Alban Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Our instant replay sponsor tonight, the ultimate outdoor. 
So 6.18 to go. Danny Hobart, Scott Mag from St. Mary's High School in Western Buckeye League action as the Riders trying to continue this lead of 9-8. to eight. And we've got a foul, and they're going to say it's going to be a two-shot foul. Was he shooting? It didn't, I didn't know if he was shooting the ball or. Yeah. I, 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 Richardson and, and Metzger and, and maybe even Neekamp got a hand in there when he was going up for the shot. And I think they picked it on Richardson, I believe. So we'll send Alex Hayne to the free throw line as he misses the first one. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. Pantry Pride is our free throw sponsor. So Hayne with the second one on the way. The left-hander misses both of them. Rebound comes down to the skins, and they'll bring it down the floor. This is Zach Neekamp driving to the rim, Ooh. and they're going to get a foul. Yep. And let's see who they get that foul on. They're going to call that one on. I believe it's Hain. on number 13, yes. Alex Hain. And that will send Zach Niekamp to the free throw line. Zach Niekamp on the year, shooting at 79%. St. Mary's had the right idea. They wanted to make him go left, but he beat him with his right hand going left. So they got to close that ga gap down a little bit. They More of a 90-degree angle yeah. is what they were. They need to make it a more of a 45 and not let him get a straight line drive to the rim as he missed the first foul shot. So Neekamp will attempt a second one on the Pantry Pride free throw line, and he misses that one too. Rebound comes down to the skin or to the Riders as they'll set up shop, leading nine to eight with 5:55 to play. Dribble drive to the basket, shot goes up. That was number five, Cobain Owens, and the ball goes off the mark, but it's going to go back to the Riders. I think uh, Neekamp might have got a. He gets off That's the ground pretty good yeah, for, sure for a 6'2 guy. He gets up in a hurry and explodes. Uh, he's got some pretty powerful legs. They'll get the ball in bounds. This is Jace Turner <laughs> up top as he swings the ball around. <laughs> Shadle was not letting Angstman get anywhere close. He was like sticking to him. He about went through a screen just to make sure he stayed with him. <laughs> There's a nice travel. up yep. and under. We got a travel call, and that call goes against Kobe Owens. You're right. Every time Jace Turner catches the ball, they're double teaming him. But you're yep. right. Evan Angsman is just being the defense they're yeah. playing on him is really good defense right there. They're going to make Hain and any all the other guys and and Owens and Payne and them guys beat them. They're now let the, the two big guys. Ooh, we had it. But this had match it. up out top yep. between Zach Neekamp and Alex Haney. <laughs> yeah. They are really battling. Yeah. He, he had Paige. Paige went back door and kind of slowed up, and he camps kind of ticked off at him. He was like, if you want to go, you got to go. I threw the pass for you. He You're had right. a layup. You're right. <laughs> Nothing worse than a guard throwing a back door, and nobody. then he stops on you. Evan Angsman finally gets oh, the wow. ball down low, and yeah. that shot is short, but he was being defended mightily by yeah. the skins. And I think some frustration there from him I, not touching I, it. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, Scott. You can see the frustration on him yeah. as he is being deed up all night here. Here come the skins down 9-8 to eight with 452. Three ball on the way, Ooh. and it's good. Zach Meekamp, the 6'2 senior who averages 9.6 a game. He gives the skins the lead on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard at 11-9. to nine. Oh, and here we go, back and forth. There's a three ball. Noah Payne knocks it in with 4.33 to go. Another Lee's Famous Recipe three-pointer, and he gives the Riders the 12-11 lead. And I don't think Coach Elker's really that upset about that because, you know, when you want those guys to shoot threes and they make one, that's a good thing because you're going to shoot another one. Absolutely. 4.17 to go. Skins down by one. There's a free throw jumper off the mark. Rebound comes down to the skins. Take it back up. That shot's missed. Jace Turner with the rebound, and we're going to get a foul against. Let's see who that one's against. And I believe Neekamp. it's going to be against Kneecamp. You're yep. right. So Zach Kneecamp on the foul. Just plays so hard. Not gives him two, unfortunately. Yeah. Entering the game for the Riders, number 23, Brennan Steger, the 6'2 junior guard, is back in the game. 4.02 to go here from St. Mary's High School. Riders patiently trying to push the ball down low. I, I like this adjustment. Nice dribble drive on the right side. Noah Payne misses the shot. 
Rebound comes down to the Skins. Three ball from the left side on the way. That's off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Skins. They'll kick it back out. Another three from the left side. That's off the mark. And the rebound comes down. It's corralled by Brennan Steger from the Riders. There they try to shadow. Yeah, yeah two hands in the back. That's obvious. Yeah, Cash Shadow. They're going to get yep. him on the foul as uh, for 24. Evan Angsman had good position. And, and I like the adjustments by Coach Hagemeyer. He's putting uh, um, Angsman down on the block and getting Turner high low. Instead, when we kind of started, they had Angstman outside and he wouldn't get any touches. So now let's put him on the block and let him go to work down there. And that'll give us a chance to take another timeout. We're watching high school basketball right here on WSA. Our presenting sponsor tonight is Road State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. We are pleased to announce new pricing for WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. So 3.29 to go. Riders continue to lead 12-11. I don't believe anybody's got more than a one-point lead at no. all tonight. A kind of a slow-paced game as both teams trying to feel each other out. Riders right. trying to push that ball down to the block. They'll go back to Evan Inksman on the block. He's trying to make something happen. Nice turnaround yep. shot there as it goes off the mark. Inksman gets his own rebound. His way to get and those. he's going to get fouled. He's going to go to the free throw line. It's bullied his way down there in the block. Absolutely did. Number 24. Richardson. Richardson on the foul. Yes, it looks like Adams is quickly up to get in there. Evan Angsman goes to the line, and he makes the first one on the pantry pride free throw line. He's got one point tonight for the Riders. So gives him a 13 to 11 lead. Yeah, the Redskins got three guys on the bench, and all of them have two fouls. Second one on the way, and it's good. Makes it 14 to 11 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. 305 to play here from St. Mary's High School. Danny Hilbert, Scott Mag. Western Buckeye League action in this first weekend in January. Wapakoneta on the left side trying to push the ball down. Here's a dribble drive to the rim. They'll kick it back out. They'll go right side. Caden Page with the ball back over to nice pass. Healy. Metzger. Shot goes up. Thwarted by the Riders. They'll go down the right side. Try to push it inside to Jace Turner. He's pushed out of the paint. Shot goes up. Rebound comes down. And <laughs> Kate, or excuse me, Noah Payne gets his own rebound. And nobody boxed him out. And yeah. Coach Elkert is furious. Yeah, that's that can't have you. you. play so hard on defense. And then you don't box out. And that's just can't have that. That's where he got way of travel there. So the Riders lead 16 to 11 with 2.08 to go. This is Metzger on the right side, guarded by Jace Turner. He'll dribble drive foul line, kick it over. Got a, somebody got a hand. It looked like that was Axman got a yep. hand on that ball. There's a dribble hand drive, yep. and they're going to get, you're right, they're going to get Haney on, one. Haney on the foul. That might be two on him. I believe so. So yep. the fouls are starting to add up for yep. both teams. Sixteen to eleven, one fifty-four to go here from St. Mary's High School. There's a three ball from the left side that goes off the mark. A quick shot there by the Skins on the out of bounds play. There's Anksman from the left side. He lets the three fly. Rebound comes down. Number twenty-one, Caleb Adams, the freshman. He corrals it in, and Wapkinet will set it up with one thirty-four to go. That's the op most open Anksman was, and it's not a bad, you know, a transition no, no, three step in three. That's a good shot here. We're going kind of little four corners. The old, uh, where's Phil Ford at? <laughs> the old UNC yeah. offense here. <laughs> and again, I like it. You got you got three of two starters on the bench with two fouls, and three guys with two fouls. Let's shorten in the game. Down five, they'll be happy with this. Maybe see if we can get by somebody and get a let easy layup. If not, we'll just work it a little bit. Metzger dribble drives. He'll kick it out to Hain. Hain yeah. goes middle. Takes it up with oh. the right hand. Nice shot. He nice had try, the advantage yeah. here. Just misses the shot. Rebound she comes did. down to the Riders. Nothing wrong with that shot, oh. Scott. No, I, I, I like that. It's yeah. just one-on-one. -on -one. See, see if we can be, be more of an athlete than you are. 
So the Riders will swing it down. This is Cobain Owens, gets it over to Turner. Turner's going to go to the foul line, kick it back out to Payne. Payne goes right side over to Owens. Owens back over to Steger. <laughs> Coach Hagemeyer screaming, give it to him. St. <laughs> Mary's taking their time. Yeah. Coach Hagemeyer knows a thing or two about coaching. <laughs> yeah, especially one of those big guys in the low post. They want him to get the ball. Gets it back into Engsman. Engsman yes. turns him around. And nice job there. He's too big down there to be guarded by a 6-1 guy. He's just too good. Evan Engsman's got yeah. four on the night. And he gives the Riders the 18 to 11 lead with six seconds to go. There's a three ball on the right side, off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's put back in. Nice job by Caleb Adams, the 6'4 freshman. After two quarters of play from St. Mary's High School, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead 18 to 13. We'll have second half action right after these messages. It's halftime back here at St. Mary's High School, and the Rough Riders lead the Wapkin Redskins 18 to 13. Danny Holbrook, Scott Mag from St. Mary's High School, and Scott, we take a look at the halftime. It just didn't seem like either team could get in a rhythm. Now St. Mary's found a little rhythm there at the end of the second quarter, where they were pushing the ball down the block, but neither team seems to be in any kind of rhythm. No, not not a bit. But a good job by uh, Coach Hagemeyer to put Hanksman down in the block because he is a load down there and Wapak had no answer um, because Adams, the freshman, had a play because Sadler was saddled with two quick fouls early and he's their, he's their banger, he's their guy that kind of is their enforcer inside. Adams, not saying he can't be that guy, but he's still a freshman. You know, the best thing about a freshman is they come a sophomore, right. they learn right. something. Yeah. So, I mean, it's good for him. He's going to learn on the job training here tonight. And the shooting is, is yes. relatively poor right oh, now. Oh, yes. Yes. And it just kind of why you said that, we'll just talk about a little bit of stats. Walpock shooting-wise, they're 2 11 from three, 3 of 11 from two-pointers. So that, my count is 5 of 22. That's less than 25% shooting up and win many games. And that's kind of why they got only 13 points. But uh, they've got three offensive rebounds, three turnovers, or one of four from the foul line. So really, shooting the ball tonight's not been the best. Turn around, you look at St. Mary's, not much better. They were two of six from threes, five of 14 from threes. They had 14 defensive rebounds, two offensive rebounds. They had five turnovers, and a lot of them were early when they were trying to throw the ball into Turner, and he was kind of holding the ball too long, and Walpock was doubling down on him and they stole the ball from him. But of those five turnovers, I bet you three of them were early in that first quarter, and they are two of four from the foul line. So not each team is really not tickling the twine, so to speak, and that's why we're 18 to 13. I think halftime adjustments somehow, some way, both teams got to find somebody to make an outside jump shot, right? And Absolutely. to scare the other team to get out of the paint because they're one, just packing it in. You're right. right. St. Mary's do, do it a little bit differently. They want to pack it in and go into their, their big trees down there. Wapak does it a little bit differently. They want to get you out of the post so they can back Gloria. They can slide screen. They can slip screen. They can curl screen. But if they got three guys in there, all that back door and all that curl screen goes for not because they're not afraid of anybody making an outside jumper. So somehow, some way, somebody's got to come out here this second half to make a jumper to open up both of these offense. Otherwise, they're going to see five guys inside the paint just daring somebody to make an outside jumper. And so far, it's worked for both teams. 18 to 13. Again, if you're if you're Walpock and you shot less than 23 percent and you're only down five, I think every coach in America yeah. will take that. Halftime here at St. Mary's. The Rough Riders lead 18 to 13. We come back. We'll have second half action right here on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School, where tonight at halftime, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Wapakoneta Redskins 18 to 13. Our presenting sponsor tonight is Road State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. Our third quarter sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Matt's Heating and Cooling is your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. So we start the third quarter here. Wapakoneta down 18-13 to St. Mary's. Both teams trying to find their rhythm. You heard Scott Mag talking about the 
the uh, efficiency from the floor. And uh, both teams trying to get better here in the third quarter. So we'll see what happens as we are just about to get underway. Danny Holbrook, Scott Mag from St. Mary's High School, Western Buckeye League action. You know, Scott St. Mary's comes in averaging 69 points a game, and I don't think they're going to make that tonight. No, and a lot of that has to do with the Redskins' sure. defense. They're, they're playing pretty well defensively. So here come the Riders as they'll go first on the ball. This is Jace Turner. They'll kick it back down to the foul line. Try to go back down to Noah Payne, but the ball's yeah. stolen away. Here come the Skins down the right side of the floor. This is Caden Page guarded out top by Alex Haney. Nice, nice give and cut. Go. Ooh. And they're going to get a foul on the floor. Lucky. There. there you saw number 23, Ryan Sadler, cut to the basket. Had a clear lane, Scott. He just got the ball sure taken did. away from him. Sure did. It was a good move. He, you know, they're overplaying. Um, I believe um, Turner was overplaying. He went back door just like he's supposed to. There you see great position yes. there by number three for the Redskins, Zach Meekamp. He got, Struggle. Yeah, absolutely. He got great position. He just couldn't make the shot. And that's been the theme of the night. Yeah. Got good looks. Just can't knock him down. They're going to be a three. Haynes? Yeah, Alex Haynes, Haynes. Third. That's his third foul. Yeah. So Decamp will go to the Pantry Pride free throw line. Pantry Pride means best quality meets, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. Pantry Pride is our free throw sponsor. The first shot is good, and Zach Niekamp's got seven points to lead the Riders tonight. But he makes it 18-14 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Second shot on the way, and that one is good, too. So the Skins have... Close the gap here at 18 to 15. Scott, how tough is it to play a team that wants to make it a, a slow down yeah. pace and, oh. a, and an ugly game? And I don't mean that in a bad way. Right, but that's just the way they play. That's sure. their MO. That is just frustrating <laughs> as heck as a coach. And you just got to try to, you, you know, what happens is a lot of times you force things like that three pointer that I'm yeah. sure they'll give him any time he wants to shoot that. Jace Turner that, with yeah, a three. Yeah. He's 6'7. They'll gladly give him up a three, not a two foot basket. There's a That's dribble a drive be, there. Nekamp tries to take lucky. the ball to the middle, and they're going to say, I believe they're going to get Called block, yeah. the block on Engsman, Evan Engsman on the foul. And that's his first foul of the night. Yeah. I thought it might have been on Steger, but Nekamp will let the first one go, and it's good. Zach Nekamp has made his last three shots. He's got nine points to lead the Skins. And you know, this might turn him around, right? You see the ball go in as a, as a scorer and a shooter. You see the ball going in the net. It's, it's amazing how much bigger that rim is when you see it go off the iron. Makes it 18 to 17 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring a resort style living to your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor quickly to get as soon as Turner puts on the floor, they attack him. There's a three That'll ball, help. another frost roofing three-point goal. Cobain Owens knocks in the three with 6.39 to go on the Lee's Famous Recipe score and makes it 21-17, Riders. Wapkinetic quickly comes back. There's another goal by Haynes, make it 21-19. Yeah, it was Page, I think, got oh, that one. Oh, excuse me, Page, yeah. I'm yep. sorry. Yep. 6.22 to go. There's a Heat three check. ball from the left side, Ooh. and he knocks it There's in. There's Payne. Noah Payne with a frost roofing three-point goal, and he gives the Riders the lead with 6.11 to go at 24-19. So back and forth we go, Scott. There's a three, or excuse me, there's a foul line jumper. Yeah, good shot. He can't misses that one. Here come the Riders in transition. They'll go back down the low post. Shot goes up, and it's good. Brennan Steger with a turnaround jumper. He's going to go to the line. It's 26-19 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Yeah, we got it on Metzger. He kind of pushed him. I think he, I think he extended his arm as I don't think Coach Elkert really liked that one very well. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's kind of he's, he's <laughs> talking about his guys getting undercut when they shoot it. A little animated, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> he and his dad can get fired up coaching basketball. Yeah. He misses that shot. Still 26-19. Here come the skins. They try to close the gap. Nice pass. Nice Ooh. pass and a good backdoor cut there. Here come the riders down the right side of the floor. Good Ball hustle. gets taken away. Wow, <laughs> Shadel hustled down there to knock that one away. That's impressive. Cobain Owens had an open avenue to the basket. You're right, Shade will beat him to the spot yeah. in an impressive job there on the defensive end. Richardson comes in. 
Hanksman will trigger the ball out underneath their basket, go into Jace Turner. He gets really nice position. You're not going to stop that, no. Scott, when he gets that down right. low in the paint. Jace Turner's got six tonight for the Riders. And that's the one the Redskins staff does not want. I mean, they'll let him chuck threes, but they don't want him to get him two inches from the basket. Because usually what he just got done doing, making is what's going to happen. 28-19 on the Leeds Famous Recipe score. There's a drive on the left side. And there you saw Caden Page with the missed shot. Here come the Riders. They lead 28-19 with 5-11 to go. This is Turner again. One-on-one -on -one down low. Nice, nice half move. hook. Yep. Jace Turner with a little baby half hook. He's got eight points on the night. And with five minutes to go in the third quarter, the Riders extend that lead to 30-19. to They're getting good looks right yep. now. Scott, sure they are. are pushing the ball down to the block, and Wapkinet is having a hard time defending their size. This is kind of the old uh, West Virginia slash Michigan one. Yes, uh, yes. B line was there, that 1 4 high, that high 4 2, high 4 uh, high post offense to try to get you off the dribble like that. And there's Zach Niekamp oh, with man. another missed shot. Couldn't get it. Turner gets the rebound. They'll outlet down the floor. This is Cobain Owens with the ball. He thought about taking the three, and he's going to kick it around, looking for Engsman down low as he's trying to get position. Turner tried to push it down there. Everything is concentrating on pushing down towards the rim as yep. it's been successful right now for the Riders. There's a drive on the right side. <laughs> Cobain Owens with a nice drive. He just misses the shot. Yeah, he's good for a step, and he had the step on him, and he just like, well, I'm going to keep going and kind of bump him. Good job by Owens to handle the bump, too, not to get bumped off the line because that's, I think, Page tried to get him off the line, but he didn't, and he threw it up there and got himself two foul shots. So the first shot goes up, and it's missed. Cobain Owens misses his first shot at the Pantry Pride free throw line. Coming back into the game now for the Wapakoneta Redskins, Caleb Adams, the 6'4 freshman. I thought he played a nice yes, first sure half. I, sh I really thought he did. He's going to be a, a heck of a player for this Redskin program. Second one on the way, and that's off the mark, too. Still 30-19 with 4.10 to go. Nate Metzger on the ball with the right side. He'll kick it down low. Nice. Uh, you saw the same thing I did. Yep, they were nice cutting back. Slip. Yeah, they had it. Three ball Richardson. from the left side. Richardson knocks it in. Ryan Richardson, the 6-1 sophomore, closes the gap for the Redskins with 3.45 to go on the Leeds Famous Recipe scoreboard. Makes it 30-22. to There's a three ball from the top of the key for the Riders, and that goes off the mark and a little bit of a break in the action there. Coach Hagemeyer not happy with that shot. No, I mean, it was quick, and, uh, and it kind of was contested. Good job by Adams to get out there with a high hand. They can, they're going to be able to get that anytime they want because Wallach is letting them have that. So I, I, I can see Coach Hageman not being happy with that because we can work the ball around another six or seven passes and see what we can get. Here comes oh. Wapkinetta, almost a stolen pass there. Metzger Chubb gets Metzger, the uh, yes. yeah, gets the rebound, or excuse me, gets the loose ball, and he knocks it in to make it 30-24 on the Leeds Famous Recipe scoreboard. Nate Metzger's got two tonight. Metzger averages 6.9 on the season. There's a nice cut by Engsman. And he's going to be fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. So yeah. Evan Engsman, the 6'7 senior, trying to make something happen for the Riders. And there he's going to go to the line for two. Unfortunately, it's on Richardson, his third on the curl. He just didn't jump to the ball. And therefore, when Engsman, you get caught behind it, you're yeah, absolutely right. right. When Engsman goes down, he's coming like a freight train. you got to jump to the ball and not let him cut across your face. If so, you're behind it. And, you even try to tap it, it's going to be a foul every time. And Evan Engsman goes to the line and knocks both of them in. Makes it 32 24 on the night. Engsman's got six. We got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout on the booth. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School, where with 2.58 to go in the third quarter, the St. Mary's Rough Riders have extended their lead to 32-24 over the Wapakoneta Redskins. Yeah, and, and maybe whatever the coaches said at halftime, 
they may want to bottle that up because uh, we yeah, almost right. scored as much in this quarter. <laughs> we still have three minutes to go than they did the first two. So whatever <laughs> they right. said worked. It's worked. You're right. Tonight's timeout sponsor is Owl's Woody's Diner in Wapak. Wapkin has best place for pizza wings, subs, and burgers. Call 419-738-9111. Owl's Woody's Diner is our timeout sponsor. So here come the Redskins down 32-24. Got to make something happen here in the early stages of the third quarter as the size from St. Mary has been bothering Wapakoneta all evening as they've tried to push the ball down low. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of missed opportunities with back cuts and mm -hmm. going to the rim. And you just wonder if those shots are falling. We got a different game. There's a three ball from the top of the key, and it's good. Logan Healy, the 5'11 senior, knocks in the triple. Another frost roofing three-point play with 2.10 to go. Makes it 32-27 on the Lee's scoreboard. And again, you, you get some of these shots that, that's going to open up those back doors, but you just got, can't stop out there having a hard time. Chase Turner run. catches the ball up yep. high and slides down to the left side, and that is impossible to stop with that left-handed shot. Well, He's got 10 on the night. Yeah, and, and that's what he wants to go to. He likes to go to that left. That, that shoulder, but they let him go right to it. They got to take that away. And there you're going to get a timeout. Timeout from Coach Elkert for Wapakoneta as he's seen enough at 34-27. They'll take a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout out of the booth. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School with 142 to go here in the third quarter. The St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Wapakoneta Redskins 34-27. Scott, we're seeing a really conscious effort by the Riders, and it's no secret to get the ball down to the low post with two six seven big men. Absolutely, and and Wapak's had a hard time trying to stop that, and you know, and their counter, they're starting to make some shots this quarter, so that's kind of keeping them keeping them close, and that's what they need because you know they want to go into some you know back door and. Now St. Mary said, okay, we're done getting back doors. We're going to go 3-2 and see if you can get something in here or make an outside jumper. So you're exactly right as Engsman and Turner guarding the low post, and that's going to be a tough proposition for Wapakoneta as they push the ball around the perimeter and a near steal there by the Riders. This is Zach Niekamp with the ball up top. He'll swing it over to Healy. Healy goes back to Niekamp. They'll go back to Ryan Richardson. Loses the ball, gets it again. Three times. <laughs> three times. And there's another turnover. It's crowd by the Redskins. They'll go three ball from the right side. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Skins. Try to take it back up. Jace Turner just manning the post, daring the shot. There's a three ball from the left side, and it's good. Zach Niekamp knocks in another three ball, another frost yeah. roofing three ball to make it 34-30. Yeah, and I didn't even know if he even knew where he was. Got in a 3-2 zone, and there he is again. Rebound by Turner. There's a three ball from the right side. That ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by the skins, <laughs> and you're going to get a foul. Body's They're going to get everywhere. Brennan Stager on yep. the foul, number 23 for the Riders. Coach Hageman, I think, is uh, wanting them to attack off the dribble instead of settling for those three-point jumpers. I don't blame him. I, I would do the same Absolutely. thing, especially when they had not an answer for Turner in the low post. And uh, they kind of settled for some outside jumpers there. So Wapakoneta here holding the ball here with the last 20 seconds of the third quarter down 34-30. Nice job by the Skins to close that gap with that late minute three there. And they've got the ball here holding for the last possession of the third quarter. This is Camp. He'll swing it over to Metzger. Metzger goes back to Richardson. Richardson takes the shot from about 10 foot and he knocks it in. Ryan Richardson, the 6'1 sophomore, closes the gap at 34-32. When we come back, we'll have fourth quarter action right here on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School. Our fourth quarter sponsor tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Matt's Heating and Cooling is your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Scott, a great job by Wapakoneta. Down eight with about a minute and a half to go. They closed the gap to two. Right, and, and what happened was they hit a couple outside jumpers, and, and what they did is they got St. Mary's 
to not throw the ball inside to Turner, and then they had trouble scoring. So if they can take Turner away, I think they got a good shot to win this. But St. Mary's got to throw the ball in Turner, and they, the offense has to go through him this whole fourth quarter. So here comes Neekamp. Oh, nice, back, nice back cut. Shot nice goes up. Too. Ryan Richardson had an open lane. The ball gets blocked by Jace Turner, and here come the Riders up 34-32. Coach Elker was not happy with that. There's Evan Engsman on the left side, three ball. That's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Zach Niekamp, and he'll bring the ball down the left side of the floor. Thought about <laughs> taking the three. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. <laughs> Niekamp with the foul line jumper off the mark. Rebound comes down to Jace Turner. He'll outlet the ball to number five, Gobain Owens. Uh, and he'll over rock it up the floor. Coach Elkert, it, he, <laughs> what kind of grimaced in pain. It's like, that's <laughs> not what we wanted that quick. That was a quick jump. We can get that any time. I think he would have been okay if he'd have got all the way to the I, rim. Yeah, I think you're right. Settled for a mid-range jumper early in the clock, and that's not what he really. That's not how they're built. They they they're built by running back door and screening you and get it an open jumper. 6:56 to go here from St. Mary's High School. Danny Hilbert, Scott Mag. Fourth quarter action in this Western Buckeye League showdown between these two league rivals. They'll push the ball down to Turner. Turner gets it back to Angsman. Angsman with a little 12-footer. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Riders. Noah Payne. And he knocks in the three ball. Another frost roofing yeah. three ball. Noah Payne. He's got 16 on the night. With 6.33 to go, he gives the Riders the 37-32 lead. And Angsman seems like he's kind of throwing it. He's kind of not following through. He's like, like hoping it goes in right. instead of shooting the darn thing. Maybe they'll get that fixed and taped tomorrow morning. So if not, maybe he listens to us tomorrow night <laughs> right. and he can think about watching himself and tell him that's, that's what right. he did. He's short arm and he's not following through on that shot. Yeah, we know sometimes, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> Here come the Redskins down 37-32. Logan Healy yeah. tries to drive on the left side and it looks like they're going to hit Cobain Owens on the foul. Yeah. Owens was kind of nonchalant there and he got beat off the drill and he just kind of whipped his hand around. And yeah, maybe he didn't get fouled, but it's kind of lazy at first that if he would have moved his feet, he wouldn't have to worry about getting that cheap foul. D3 from the top again. And it's, are you kidding me? Cash Shadle with about a 25 footer, Scott. He knocks it in to make it 37 35. They're going to call foul on somebody down there. I didn't see on uh, knee camp, maybe? After the shot, yeah, was it? Okay. Yeah, the push. Cobain Owens on the foul. Cobain. So then it should be. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that's what. That's ball if it's uh, on Owens. That's what the announcer said. Yeah. The board but did I not think light it up. It might be on Metzger, maybe. Yeah, I was going to say the board did not light no. up in Owens' favor, but that's what the announcer said. I, I bet it was on Metzger. I, and he's talking, the, the, the uh, guys on the board are talking right now, so yeah. they may change that. So here come the Riders up 37-35. Jace Turner with the ball out top. He'll swing it back around. This is Owens. Owens drives in. Rebound comes down. It's going to go back to St. Mary's. So I lucky. I, 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 that, I thought that, that was off St. Mary's. Yeah, yeah, I thought I, that was off Hain. He, he had it, and then uh, Walpock tipped it, and it kind of looked like it went off his head, but maybe not. So Angsman will trigger the ball underneath, looking for Jace Turner as he gets the ball out top. They'll go back to Angsman. Angsman dribble drive the foul Actually, line, yeah. and he is going to be fouled, and they're going to get number 20, Shadle. Cash Shadle, on the foul. <laughs> he's been grabbing, holding. <laughs> he he only has two fouls, but he's he's an aggressive player, oh, Scott. He really goodness. is. And he's doing a good thing. He's being physical Absolutely. with him, and, and it's really affecting Angsman. I'm telling you, I, he's not happy. <laughs> Kate Page enters the game for the Redskins. He's going to be happy when Walpock leaves the building <laughs> because he's been getting beat up. There's a little half hook by Turner, Turner and he nice rolls move. in. Yeah. Jace Turner gives the Riders the 39-35 lead. Jace has got 12 on the night to lead the Riders. And there you saw number one, <laughs> Kate Page was going to cut. And a, a great job by Alex Hain as he just yeah. stepped in front of him well, and made a little bit of contact. Yeah, they were switching up top there. Kind of was in a 3-2 zone, and he just kind of yes. stayed, and Metzger <laughs> threw it all right off his head. Thank God he put enough on it to get it out of bounds. <laughs> Page will swing it over to Metzger. Metzger swings it back to the corner. This is Ryan Richardson, the sophomore. This is Kneecamp on the right side. Thought about taking that shot. Back to Richardson. Richardson swings it over to the left side. Three ball on the way. There and it's good. Up a little bit. Cash Shadle knocks in another frost roofing three. And it makes it 39-38. We got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout on the booth. You're watching high school basketball.
USA. Instant Replay sponsor tonight is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Ultimate Outdoor is our Instant Replay sponsor. So the Riders lead 39-38. Scott with 5-10 to go. Redskins keep inching closer. They've got it down to one. Yeah, I'm glad both coaches also took, they must have been listening to us because they uh, listened to our <laughs> halftime adjustments when I'm I sure said they did. <laughs> somebody had to make an outside jumper. And, and we're seeing sure it. Enough, yes, we are. <laughs> Amazing what happens. Uh, you make a few shots and it opens everything up for you. I'm sure they talked in the locker room and said, look, yeah. Scott Mag from WSN <laughs> said, said <laughs> let's knock in yeah, some jumpers. Maybe not that quite exactly, but I'm sure <laughs> something was said about Absolutely. making an outside jumper. So here come the Riders up 39-38. They'll go back, Jace Turner. Jace Turner on the right side. Nice pass. And a nice cut on the left side. And there you saw yep. Alex Hayne knock in the little bunny. And he's got two points on the night with 4.44 to go. And he gives the Riders the 41-38 yeah, lead. And a great, great job by Turner. He had three guys on him. He squared up. You know, all of them are 6-1 or below. There's a three ball from Richardson. That goes off the mark. Yep. Rebound comes down to the Skins. Excuse me, to the Riders yep. with 4.25 to go. Ooh. And Coach Hagemeyer wants a time. <laughs> oh, Coach Elkert is, is fired up. Yes, he is And furious. he is furious. And the officials are going to talk to him yep. about coming out on the floor. But he is fired up. And with 4.20 to go, we're going to step aside. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School with 4.20 to go. The Riders lead the Wapakoneta Redskins 41-38. Danny Holbrook, Scott Mag from St. Mary's High School. And Scott... Coach Elkert was a little bit animated. What was he so upset about when the timeout was well, called? I think uh, his player had stolen the ball before the whistle was blown, but I think the officials, calmer heads prevailed. The officials came in and said uh, they had the ball when they called timeout. We just didn't get the whistle blown. He, and A.J. Kramer came flying in from the side telling A great that he job had of that. officiating. Yes, You're yes, right, they both Scott. came in and talked yeah. to him, and he kind of cooled down, and he coached his team, so it wasn't that it was laid on. So whatever they said... Must have worked. Must have worked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now Coach Elkert won't get animated anymore. So. Uh huh. <laughs> Jace Turner gets the ball at the high post and kicks it back out. Yep. And it's a good move by Coach Elkert to put Sadler in there. Sadler can guard Turner one on one. They don't need to double down because he can lean on him and and tip and. Turner kind of threw it back out because he was kind of dumbfounded a little bit because he was used You're to right. having three guys around him. You're absolutely right. So here come the Redskins down 41-38 with the 4.04 mark. Here's Caden Page, kicks it back out. Three ball on the way, and it's good. Cash Shadle, back-to-back yeah. -back threes for the Skins. He's got 12 of the night with 3.53 to go. And they ran America play. What they do is everybody goes away from the ball, and they set a screen or they send a shooter in behind because nobody in America can defend that. <laughs> it's 41-41 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Tied up again. First time tied up There's in another a turn. long time. Oh, now they're going to call a foul. Gonna... Foul <laughs> on the floor. My goodness. Sadler was just going for the ball. Wow. He just was not happy on that one. Cash Shadle's got 12 on the night, yep. Scott. He averages 9.2 a game. Those are huge threes back-to-back -back for the young man. Here's Turner, kicks it back out. Goes back down to the block, takes position. They left Alex Hain completely no, they, open on the left side. And Metzger is in the paint. He's so far off of him. They'll go back down low. Jace Turner almost loses it. Yeah, kicks Sadler it back better out. be careful. He's going to give himself another one, especially after he was animated on that last one. Ooh. Wow, I thought I he was thought throwing the ball. So dying, like, who are you throwing that ball to? And he's lucky. Yeah, lucky right. Page didn't see that either. He had a layup. Oh. Turner almost loses it. Three ball from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound to Turner. A strong rebound. He oh, takes it nice. back up. Yep. Jace Turner absolutely owned that possession, Scott. Yes, as he, he did. does a great job getting the rebound on the missed three. And he's going to go to the line. And I love the shot fake. The step through. Use the rim as that like his pass. That was and going up and under. And that's something you can't tell you. Obviously, he's a senior, and you know maybe something there 
Mr. Uh, Caleb Adams on the bench could take yes. notice of that because that'll be a good move for him someday. Jace Turner knocks another free throw down. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. So Jace Turner's got 13 on the night. He gives the Riders the 42-41 lead. I'm sorry, folks. He's got 14 on the night as he knocks in the second one to give the Riders the 43-41 and, lead under three and minutes again, to go. What makes him so good, he can finish with his left hand. He loves going to that left hand, even though he's right-handed. You know, it, that makes him a very tough guy to guard. Nice, nice cut, cut yep. there by Nate Metzger. Ball goes almost out of bounds as he corrals it, gets it back to Shadle. Shadle gets it out top to Nikant. Nikant gets it back to Metzger. Nikant Ooh. takes the three, misses the uh -oh. shot. It's blocked. And the ball gets lost in oh, the shuffle. Wow. And back and forth we go, and they throw it out of bounds. It'll yep. go back to St. Mary's. It, it, you can see kind of Walpock's MO, right? That, that was a little bit speeded up. They just got discombobulated, and they kind of throwing the ball all over the place. It just caused some problems. Here come the Riders with 2.29 to go. They lead 43-41. Big crowd on hand tonight here at St. Mary's yep. for this rivalry game in the WBL. These two schools separated by about 12 miles. These kids know each other from summer ball and summer leagues. And 2.10 to go. Riders lead 43-41. And there might be some girlfriends from different <laughs> other right. schools, too. <laughs> Relations and yeah, uh, relatives right. and all kinds <laughs> of things. Yep. Yep. And there might be some good buddies out here, too, Absolutely. playing in different color uniforms. Absolutely. I know there's no love lost in a football game, either. <laughs> You're right. And there is a yep. foul. And you saw uh, <laughs> Nate Metzger was told to come out and make the foul with 40 <laughs> or with 149 to go. That young man does not do anything uh, slow. kind of he's, slow. I was going to say, he's, he's 100 mile an hour. He is 100 miles an hour, and he gives it his all in everything he does. Like, yep. What a heck of a <laughs> – I'd love to have that guy on my team. Absolutely. So going to the free throw line, Alex Hayne, the left-hander, lets the first one go, and he knocks it in. Knocks in another Pantry Pride free throw with 1.49 to go. Haynes got three on the night. And he gives the Riders the 44-41 lead with 1.49 to go. Seven on the way, and it's good. Makes it 45-41 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. First one looked like he kind of guided it in. That one, it was pure. Shot that one with a lot of confidence. Metzger on the right side. Yep. He'll keep the ball up top. He's guarded by Jace Turner. Takes him to the foul line. They'll go back to Zach Nekamp. Zach Nekamp left side, oh. takes it up, and yeah. he's going to be fouled, and they're going to get Hain on the foul. Yeah. And that's going to send Nekamp to the free throw line for two shots as the clock stops at 132. It's just amazing how these uh, young defenders, right? Nekamp did a good job. Hain jumped to try to take his right hand away. But he opened his hips so much, and he let Nikan go straight drive right to the rim. First one on the way, and it's good. Boy, that went right on the round. Yeah. <laughs> you saw Zach Nikan was trying to use his body to make the ball go in. <laughs> and a deep sigh of relief that that one went in. Absolutely. So Nikan will let the second one fly. Zach's got 14 on the night, and he knocks it in. He's got 15 on the night, and he makes it 45-43 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard with 1.28 to go. Let's see if St. Mary's takes the air out of the ball, make them foul him. They're going to double team up top oh. and a near steal, and they're going to say a foul. <laughs> yeah. And Coach Elkert's okay with that. He yeah. understands the yeah. situation. You're absolutely right. He knows he's got to have the fouls. Right. From this angle, right, from this side of the floor coming towards us, didn't look like a foul, but from the backside, sure. both those guys had a hand in the back, and I'm sure they were pushing a little bit. So Brennan Steger will go to the line. Steger's got 15 on the night. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Steger's got three. two on the Excuse me, three on the night. That scoreboard's something, Scott. It's yeah, got it me. Uh, <laughs> actually, there's all kinds of information up there. That's right. 45, 43, 120 to go here in the fourth quarter. Steger lets the second one fly, and it's good as it rolls in. Entering the game now is Alex Hain as he comes back in. He'll come in for Steger with 120 to go. 46-43, Riders lead with 120 here in the fourth quarter. St. Mary's trying to stay undefeated in the WBL. They come in 1-0, and Wapakoneta 0-1, trying to get that first WBL victory. This is Metzger. Oh, yep, yep. 
foul on Payne. There you saw him. He tried to jump yeah. it, but just Nikim did a heck of a job to get him on his backside. And Payne had to go through him to get touch that ball. So Caden Page will trigger the ball out yep. underneath their basket. It was one oh seven to go. I thought they would run something for uh Shettle. Shadle on side. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Shadle. Here's Ryan Richardson from the left side. Three ball on the way up. Ooh, Off the shot. mark. Good Rebound look. comes down to Payne. Under a minute to go. Riders lead 46-43. Elkert's telling his young men to foul, and that's exactly what they do. Yeah. And they'll send Noah Payne to the line. Boy, Richardson had a great yeah, look sure on the left side. And from our vantage point, looked right good. above or right below us, it looked like it was in. Yeah, it sure did. We got a clean look. Got his feet set. Just a little... A little flat, that's where flat rim down on. Payne misses the first yeah, that, one. That's huge. 51 seconds to go, still a one possession yeah. game. Right, now if you're Walpock, I, you know, even if he scores here, four is not bad. You can get a quick two and then see what you get or maybe get a quick three. He knocks in the second to make it 47-43 with 51 seconds to go. Here come the Redskins. Yeah. This is Neekamp. Neekamp trying to go on the right side. Goes back to the middle. Shot goes up, and he knocks nice it shot. in. Yep. Zach Neekamp. And Wapakoneta is taking a timeout. We'll take a timeout here in the booth with 40 seconds to go. You're watching High School Basketball on WLSA. We're back here at St. Mary's High School with 40 seconds to go. The St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Wapak and other Redskins 47 to 45. A back and forth affair here in this WBL matchup. St. Mary's will be taking the ball underneath their basket. Excuse me, underneath Wapak and basket. I mean, if you walk walk, you're selling out to get a steal, and if you don't, you got to foul. You got to foul me. You're absolutely yep. right. They'll get it into Angsman. Angsman, they're going to. Oh, look at the. Oh, they're, they're, they're on a double dribble. Turner with the ball up top. We're down to 30 seconds. And I was waiting on the yeah. foul. and uh, They wasted 11 seconds wow. there. I don't, I, Not real sure about yeah. that. But Caleb Adams comes out, and they're going to get Adams on the foul. And that will send. Unless they were told in the in the huddle to foul a certain person. I'm I'm not sure. I thought they were trying to get a 10 second call and then yeah. foul, but yeah, maybe. Yeah. Evan Angsman will let the first one go and it's good. It makes it 48-45 on the ladies' famous recipe scoreboard. Angsman's got seven for the riders. We'll see after this if they if Walpaw gets down and scores, if they sell out the nine and try to get something quick here. He knocks in the second one, make it 49 yep. 45. Here comes Wapakoneta. This is Nikian. Goes straight oh, to the rim. Fouled, yep. And they're going to get uh, Alex Hain. Hain on the foul. Yep. And that is his fourth, I believe. Yes. Yes, that's his fourth foul. Oh, sorry, fifth. that is his yeah, fifth, fifth foul. Wow. Okay, so he's out of the game now, so they'll take some time. And. Uh, which is going to be Steiger. I mean, that's the only, they've only yeah. been playing six guys. And Coach Hagemeyer is telling why would you grab him? Like, just move your feet. <laughs> now they're allowed to score with the time not moving. Yeah, that's, that's again, huge. That, Absolutely. Doesn't matter. I let him go by you. At least the clock's still running. Now they're now he's scoring with no time coming off, and they're allowed to sub their defensive guys in and take their offensive guys out. He can't knock in the first yeah, one. He's I, got 18 on the night, Scott. Because mm -hmm, I believe second one is good. Makes it 49-47. Yeah, You're he, right. He's Let got go. three pals, fouls, too, so they want to get him out. But they brought Richardson in, and he's got four. So I think he's about the only one that can't foul. But at this stage in the game, whoever yeah, gets it say, in, you got to foul right away. Anyway, down two. You got to roll with us. So yeah. They get the ball inbounds, and they're trying for the steal. And there's Sadler the foul. In, yeah. Yeah, there's the foul on number 23, Ryan Sadler. And that'll send Evan Engstman to the line. 19 seconds to go. So sh some big free throws here, Scott, with 19 seconds. And the Riders up 49-47. Yeah, I, I, they were kind of in like a zone press type thing there, which, again, once they get it in, they kind of trapped it. But then they didn't really sell out to get the reverse pass as much as 
you know, you can tell this is not how they're built, really. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they're trying to do probably stuff that they don't work on much. But they just got to, when they trap, to take that first pass away. Hanks bringing the second one in. He knocks it in. He knocks in. in the last two free throws. And the St. Mary's coaches are going to take a timeout. With 19 seconds to go, we'll take a timeout. You're watching High School Basketball on WLSA. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School, where with 19 seconds to go, the St. Mary's Rough Riders lead the Wapakoneta Redskins 51-47. Danny Hilbert, Scott Mag from St. Mary's High School in this Western Buckeye League showdown between these two league rivals. Wapakoneta is going to take the ball out with 19 seconds to go, down 51-47. They need a quick bucket here, Scott. Yeah, and I kind of like that little token pressure so they can't just roll it in. This is Page. Page swings it over to Nigget. Three ball from the right side. And Shadow knocks it in. Cash Shadow with his third three ball tonight to make it 51 50 with 9.4 seconds to go. He's been incredible in yeah, this half. He sure has. He's he's got what all five threes this he's, this yes. quarter. He you know he's got a shoulder set. It. First to half he had four or five shots that just didn't fall for him. And you know fortunate for the Redskins. <laughs> He's lighting it up this fourth quarter. Well, you know, I'm sure they talked about that play specifically because they sure. got him off a screen. And But typically it doesn't always work that way, but that just right. worked to perfection. Yeah, it sure did. And, and that was a tough shot because it sure was. in my mind, the, the corner's three is a very difficult shot to make. And it looked like from up here at our vantage point, he was even a little bit behind the backboard. So that was even a tougher shot in my mind. Yeah, and he I, had... He did a great job of getting his feet set, yep. nice form, sure and follow did. through, and he knocks it in, yep. and we're 51-50 with nine seconds to go. Yeah, and they kind of played a 3-2, but the bottom guy kind of came out to the wing because it looked like the uh, center guy in, in the zone got screened, so the, the top guy of the third one had to come and help, so the bottom post guy had to come up, and fortunately, Shadle wide open in the corner. Look at look at Ryan Sadler guarding yeah. Jace Turner. He's yeah. not going to let him even touch the ball right. out here. Talking to him, say, hey man, I know you're probably just bugging you, but well, Turner this had is what a smile Coach on his face. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to hold you. And they get it into Engsman, and there's yeah. going to be a foul immediately. That'll take the clock down to 7.8 seconds. And I don't know that you want to. Evan Engsman has knocked in his last four right. free throws. He's right. done a terrific job at but the free throw line. Less than 10 seconds. You yeah, don't you, have, yeah, you don't have an option. You got to foul immediately, and and that's why Coach Hagemeyer yeah. wanted the ball to go to Engsman. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I didn't know. I don't remember. Did they have anybody on the ball? They did not have anybody on the right. ball. Right. Maybe they yeah. should have put someone on the ball. Maybe next time they might just to see if they have to lob it up a little bit to give one of those little dudes the Evan time Hanksman. to come in there and sneak one away. And Knocks in another yeah. free throw. And he's got 11 on the night. He's had the last five free throws. He's been automatic yeah. from that line. And they controlled him basically until the foul yeah. line, right? Yeah. I mean, 11. He's got five from the line, makes this one, he gets 12. Half his points come to the foul line late in the game. And he does knock yeah. that one, it makes it 53-50. With 7.8 seconds to go. So Wapakoneta down by, excuse me, by three here with 7.8 seconds to go. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're talking, hey, we need a foul and, <laughs> and don't foul say. a three-point shooter. I don't, I'm not, I mean, the way, Hanksman's been making foul shots. You might, might take your chance of following him, and if they make two, you're okay because he's thrown into Hanksman. The WSN Scores app is new and approved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. So it's got a lot of high school basketball action in Northwest Ohio, and we've seen some great games so far this year. And we continue to bring high school sports to you right in your living room here on WOSN. And we got another dandy tonight here in WBL action yeah, as the Riders lead 53-50. Yeah, and just think, it was 18 to 13 at <laughs> right. halftime, and, and we, we were talking about, about the <laughs> lack of shooting. Boy, they sure turned it up. Yes, they Again, did. Like, I, I really do think they got a live feed into their uh, – because they listen to our <laughs> halftime adjustments. Caden Page gets the ball. He'll bring it down the floor. Six seconds to go. Page brings it down the middle, almost taken away. Gets it over to Neekamp. Neekamp with the ball. Three ball from the left side on the way. It's oh. off the mark, and the Riders win this one 53-50. So a nice look there by Zach yeah. Neekamp. He was all alone on the left side. He just missed the shot. He sure did. They, I mean, I don't think Coach uh, Elkert could 
draw up a better play. He was wide open. He just kind of drifted a little bit, left that one short. I love, I, you can tell from him being a little bit dejected, he'd love to have that one back. So a rivalry game in the books as the St. Mary's Rough Riders defeat the Wapakoneta Redskins 53-50. For our entire WSN crew, Scott Mag, I'm Danny Holbrook saying we'll see you next week right here on WOSN.